Yo, what's up guys? It's me once again, Zen from Right Safe Finesse, and welcome back to this channel. Today, we are going to make a helmet review. Nakita nyo naman po sa title, this LS2 Arrow. So, intro muna tayo. Yun, no? So, guys, ito yung LS2 Arrow. So, this will be the second episode of the helmet review. So, ito siya. Buksan natin sa bag. Wow. Ganda, no? So, sabi mo natin yung bag. Okay. So, LS2 helmet. So, this is a uh, LS2 Arrow Evo. Ganda, di ba? So, this one is a matte black. So, ano bang meron dito sa helmet na to? So, itong LS2 Arrow, na-release po siya way back. 2016. Hindi totoo yan. Bola lang yan. <laughs> may release ni LS2. And uh, material niya is made of uh, fiberglass composite. It's a fiberglass composite helmet. And actually it's a racing helmet. <laughs> Kita niya naman sa aggressive design niya. Here. And sa likod, medyo oval shape. But aggressive pa rin. And it's uh, the shape of the head. Here you go. It's a long oval shape. Para po ito sa mga hindi siya rounded na ulo. Para po ito sa mga round, uh, oval, long oval head na riders na. If you're having a rounded head, I don't recommend this helmet. But if your head is a long oval, it's I think the, one of the best for you in the market. It's a single visor helmet. It's a racing helmet. So, pop up my yung visor. Dito. Yan. Buksan mo. Buksan siya dito pa. Yan no. So, this one. It's a box. It has only clear lens. So, mabibili po siya ng separately yung dark smoke. I don't know how much, but I think it would be less than 1,000 pesos. And for the ventilations, it has four intakes. One, two, three, and four. Dalawa dito sa harap. Dito at saka dito. And baga yung mechanism niya ay nasa loob para chin. Sa dito, Tapos, isa dito. Yeah. Two. And two dito sa brow. Okay. And for the lens, it's a fog fighter ready. Uh, term po yan LS2 sa mga thin lock. Uh, thin lock. Mm, Anti-fog lens. So, may... May sarili po si LS2 na term, which is the uh, fog fighter. They call it fog fighter. It has also a lock on the visor. So, you know, when you... I mean, it's, it's, it starts fogging if you don't have an anti-fog lens. All you have to do is like pop this. Yan, magka-crack po siya. Konti. So, mangyayari, papasok yung hangin dito sa loob. And yan, maangat naman siya. Ang problema nga lang, guys, uh, minsan sa ibang helmet, may makikita nga parang malaking mechanism dito na kahit ganyan lang yung pagka-open or ganyan. Ganyan. Naglalak naman siya. Uh, Nag-stay place na naman siya. Pero when you're moving, when you're riding, it's, hindi siya ganong, hindi siya mag-stay place dito. So, di guys, ibang helmet na meron dyan, meron dyan, and all the way up. Ito lang siya. Pag nakalak, press mo lang siya dyan. Yan. Tapos, diretso siya all the way up. 
So this helmet has a, a breath guard. Which is removable, of course. And for the cheek pads, wala po siyang intercom, hindi po siya intercom ready. I mean, wala po siyang space. As far as I can see, wala po siyang ano. So this helmet, guys, it has no uh, space for the speaker on the side. So sa mga nagwabalak ng intercom for this helmet, uh, hindi po siya ready. But I think it's it's possible na maglagay ka dito ng speaker but with regards to comfortability, I don't know for that one if helmet with a speaker on the side. So yeah, like I said, the vents here, four here, and the outer the exhaust vents is here on the on the back. The the weight of this helmet, pop up the engine screen. So, this size is uh, medium, so for me, I, I will not try to, you know, I will try not to wear this. What? This because it's actually for sale. <laughs> so I'm just making some helmet review for this one. So when you try to remove the visor here, all you have to do is like pop this, this one here, and yeah, it will definitely, yeah. Yeah, the siya tanggalin guys. So, parang ano lang siya, locking mechanism lang siya. Pop up muna siya dyan, at may lalagatak dyan. So, ito guys. So, I don't know if you're still... I'm able to sing this. Sure sing it. Ay, para po tayo siya sa strap niya. Parang ano siya, uh, reinforcement. Engineered by LS2, eh, diba? Like I said, for the strap. Ang strap niya, it's a uh, double D ring strap act already. Say, ano siya, eh? uh, you know, it's a racing helmet, so the safest strap there on the market now is a double D ring. Hindi totoo yan. Bola lang yan. Next is a quick releasing strap, and then just a normal strap. So this one is the safest, considered the safest, double D ring. And by the way, it has also an uh, emergency cheek pad right over here. So wag naman sana, knock on wood, ma-accident yung rider. Ay, isang hatak lang dito, matatanggal agad yung cheek pad. Intended po yan para hindi po magkaroon ng further damage sa neck. Kasi kung hindi siya matatanggal agad, syempre, hahatakan ko yung helmet. Kung may injury sa leg, possible na magkaka-worse pa yung injury ng rider. So, ganun po yung sistema ng removal po. Emergency removal na cheek pad niya. This helmet is a budget-friendly helmet. Considered, it's an LS2 helmet. So, this price of this helmet, guys, is 6,500 helmet. And... You can order it here. You can directly message me, of course, if you're interested with this one. Panatil ng size yan, kung anong size niyo. Quality of the brand LS2 is, you know, LS2 is from Spain, and sponsor po sila sa Moto GP. So, baga kung sa magbududa ka sa kanyang sa brand is LS2 subok na ho ito. So, I think that's it guys for me, uh, except you only for the helmet. So once again, it's me Zen from Ride Safety Nuts and uh, thank you for viewing this video. And please don't forget to like this video and if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe. So guys, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Abu.